I got broads in Atlanta, just to throw in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Wayne C look like a panda. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Black Mamba! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist but on one side you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. and you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is he knows where the fight needs to be he knows what he has to do in order to be successful let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him all right it's time to start using that low kick big punch man over the top how's he gonna follow this one up He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! 
Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the you fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Oh, big kick lands flush. Nice punch lands over the top. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Just a slip there. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to ring. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his corner, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Switching stances here. I kick to the head is there. I kick to the head is there. Tags him with the left. He's throwing every part. Man, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Wow. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, Superman punch lands. Got clip with the right hand. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. All right, so he leads with the right hand there, and it was effective for him. Most times he's behind the jab, but sometimes you got to just mix it up. Oh, nice jab up top by Lee. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice straight punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Overhand left. Oh, nice. Kick. And he landed the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. What are you doing out there? You have to defend yourself. You can't All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a to even be on his feet right now. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combination. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Sniff that 
that one out as he blocks the kick. Straight punch lands. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Nice straight right lands. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lee gets caught with that punch. Trying to double up on that jab. Straight right hand, no good. Ooh, blocks the shot. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Three minutes now to go in round two. Just unable to quite find that range. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Blocks the shot. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just misses with that one. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. All right, has the guard closed here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. Beautiful kick. Back and forth we go here. Nice shot to the body there. Ten seconds remain in round two. He loaded up on that right hand, too. What a body kick. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus spits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Nice head kick. There's the kick. It's blocked. Beautiful body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Beautiful body kick. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Lands a knee there, nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the two hands exactly where you want. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, huge head kick. his hip into that kick. Three minutes. Well, this is exactly... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Came of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, straight right. Huge block there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, double jab there by Lee. Another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, big punch land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Real nice body kick lands. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Good punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Big head kick lands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Seconds winding down in round three. All right, close guard now. Oh, he got her best. What a round.
All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch, Lance. How about that chin? Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, he... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound for such a dominant position. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nice. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against Mo. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise. Oh! Just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 17 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.